Thank you for joining me, fellow Guardians. This is Sam from Multiverse Mission Control, and today's quest is Dark Souls. So, I chose this spot because it's slightly out of range of Andre's hammer. Uh, I know that bugs me on occasion. I don't want to inflict that on my audience too much. Okay, so I bumped up my endurance and strength a bit, because they're too important to neglect right now. And I also swapped out for the battle axe, because I, I don't know. There's something very satisfying about it. Yes. Good design. Anyway, so my goal in this episode is to explore the undead parish and the church proper. First thing I'm gonna, yeah. First thing I think I'm gonna hit is the elevator back to Firelink, because that's an important shortcut. But there are a few dudes in my way, so. Yeah, it's like you have that nice overhead smash, and then the quick attack is a really fast follow-up. That's what I like. It's much different from the Demon Souls Battle Axe. Hey. Let's just get on with it. Don't want anyone sneaking up on me when I'm exploring the church. It does have slow range though, so you gotta be willing to dive in there. But, after playing Demon Souls, I am more than ready for that. Oh, I also bumped up my humanity a bit, just because, you know, item drops, hope, hoping for them. And, <laughs> you know, saying human, because I still want someone to fight me. Someone worthy of my skill. Alright, so first thing, there's a Berenique Knight there. Berenique, as you notice, are quite titanic and well endowed. Well armored up. So, uh, direct confrontation is actually ill-advised. I'm going to throw fire at him. So long as I keep him in the attack animation, he won't be blocking these. Ow. That was ill-advised as well. Right. Fortunately, he doesn't come back. Great Axe! And the Tight Knight Shad. Great Axe! Uh, I've heard... The best analogy is it's like getting hit with a truck. Naturally, you need a lot more strength for that. Anyway. Oh, I would love to help you out, fam, but there are two people I particularly want to summon right now. Okay. Oh, and I got another humanity for it. That's right, that's something I forgot to explain. If you kill enough enemies in a certain area, um, you get a random humanity. Uh, it, like, increases every time, but occasionally that will just happen. It's kind of like getting an extra Estus when someone kindles your bonfire. Okay, so, first thing, there's a dude up there. He'll snipe you with soul arrows. The minute I forget about him. So, I'm just gonna keep an eye on him, yeah? Not gonna be dumb. But on this altar here is a firekeeper soul. These things are really important. First off, don't eat it. I know it's five humanity, but don't. Because it's more important that you deliver that to an existing firekeeper, who can then make your Estus Flask stronger, healing more. That is too important to just glaze over. Okay. So I'm gonna go down here. Activate the elevator. And it's got a button on it, like the one in the New Londa Ruins. These little shortcuts are how you master the game, after all. Firelink Shrine. And just like that, we are back at home base. Back at the central hub that connects to everything. Hello, Petrus. Fuck, what was that? Lagged out for a bit. Oh. Miracle? Yes, yes. Anything else, by the way? Okay. Come again. Later. I wonder if I should show off force. Ah, uh, nah. I'll get Wrath of the Gods eventually. Like the Uber version. Then you'll be able to see that. Oh, but I should rest at a bonfire. Hmm. And I do believe this is a smarter one to rest at, because then you don't have to run through those three dudes every time, right? Yeah. Because I want my fireballs back. 
that dude with the snipey stuff, he's pretty tough. So I, so I just want my... I want the ability to cheese. You know? Alright. Yes. Melee is... is a tough way to play. Especially all melee. There are some diehard players that do that. I am not one of them. I prefer being able to explode shit. Now the Parish Bonfire will be important in later stages of the game. I just don't need it right now. So... Oh, there's another summon sign. Smart. Right in the middle. Can't miss it. Okay. So I'm just gonna like... Uh, sneak under here. Now. Wait, I don't have to even... I'll go from the front. Because while I can sneak attack those guys, that guy soloing me is just kind of making me nervous. I don't even want to have to deal with that, you know? Don't even want to have to think about that. Oh, and then so I ended up fighting these three dudes anyway. I are genius. Oh well. This is a bad position right now. Can't be fighting all of them at once. Alright, no worries. This guy's eager to rush in. Let him break the formation. Yeah! I should get crunk. There we go. Heck your shoulder off! And now for the coup de grace the whole thing. And the whole shebang. I missed that like a boss. Yes, missed it like a boss. Okay, wow! So many people want to get summoned. Can't blame them. This is a good starting thingy do. Okay. Hmm. I'm a, such a fickle bean. Where should I go? What should I do? Eh, let's go this way. I don't think I even have to fight this guy. Well, his mate behind him may notice me. Ah, uh, we'll see. Maybe I can just saunter past. Yep. Okay, we're cool. Oh, uh, don't start running. Oh, no. I tilted the control stick too hard. Okay, fine. Try to avoid a sniper and I end up incurring so much else. Other wrath. This is how the pros do it, don't you know? Let's get to the space that's good to fight in. If I get invaded right now, I am pretty much dead. Oh well. Because one of these guys I can handle. One of these guys plus a player who actually knows what they're doing. Not so much. Okay. No crunk for you! Okay. And you just should stop thinking you're important. Right. So, you can e you can get at the front of the church down this hole. So there are three Balder Knights in there. And I could have snuck attacked them from where I was before, but uh... You know, I just didn't want to have to deal with the sniper. In the future, I will totally do that. Oh, hello, I forgot you were a thing. Maybe because you're just that forgettable. I don't know. Basement key. That's important. Titanite shard. Maybe the basement key is how I get to the spot in uh, the lower Undeadberg. Also, here's another shortcut. You remember this space? This is where I fought Piggity Pig, who's not coming back, thankfully. Don't make me re-kill you. I will kill you as many times as it takes for it to take. Oh, but I did do a dumb now, didn't I? Because now they have a line of sight on me. I guess I'll just have to stay up here then when I'm fighting the Baldurs. Love it. And a halberd. That takes a little strength and a little dex, but it's a nice weapon for starting players. And even for advanced players. I actually see that a lot. 
it's the reach and the smashiness. Both, it's just a nice combo. Okay, Baldur's. Yo, who wants up? The other two are waiting for me to charge in and let myself get ambushed, but I am not about to play that game. Gotta be wise about my stamina here. Here we go. Right, slow and steady does the trick. There's one on the left here. Oh fuck, I got invaded. Well, you know what, this is fine. I never got a chance to show this off before. Let's do it. Where did he come in though? Is he gonna fall off a cliff again? I have not. Can't be behind me, don't be ridiculous. There is an item you can get that turns you invisible though, so I should have my guard up right now. Constant vigilance, as Professor Moody would say. I have fireballs. That is nice. I really shouldn't have opened that door. I feel like d I feel dumb. <laughs> oh well. All in good time. Uh, maybe he's waiting on me at the... I remember there's a common place to duel here. He might be waiting there. Okay. Or we'll just run into each other in one of those sitcom moments. Tends to happen. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, it's over here. It's the place I was trying to kite the boulder back to. This is the most common place for duels to occur. Now, uh, yeah, see, when uh, you get invaded, spots like that to bonfires get walled off by fog. Okay. Uh, so when I see him, it is proper considered proper etiquette to bow and let the other player buff before you get into it for real. Now, he might not follow that. This is a lawless world after all. But, you know, I've got my principles. And I don't want to attack s someone if, uh, if they're going to be polite. I'll let him bow first, though, just so that I can assess. He's taking a while. Where is this bugger? He's gonna fall off a cliff again, isn't he? He's gonna fall off a cliff. I don't even know which way to watch right now. You know what? Over here. Over here is better. Or would be if the pillar wasn't. Okay, I heard a sound. What was that? I think I pissed off the channel a little bit. Okay, regardless. Where you at? Where you at, fam? <sighs> Maybe he's in the church. That would make sense. Trying to, uh... Get the advantage of the channeler sniping me, huh? Yeah, yeah. Odd wager. Oh, fucking god. He used camouflage. That makes sense. There's a spell that makes you look like an object. But uh, it's glitching for some reason. Well, if he's not going to be honorable, I have no qualms throwing fireballs in his face. But he's also going for the backstab. Shouldn't wonder. And he's got a lightning thing with a poison thing on it. That's pretty neat. Or it would be if I didn't have to deal with it right now. Hmm. He doesn't seem to have any spells. Or he's smart enough not to use them right away. You do occasionally run into a bit of lag. So that's something to watch. Yay, I nicked him. Oh, and phantoms cannot use Estus, so it's generally impolite to use Estus when, uh, uh, you know, you get a duel in Darkroot Garden, for instance. But this guy started off trying to ambush me, so you know what? Screw him. Fuck. Well, I'm dead. 
Oh, uh, yeah. What glitched so badly with that? I don't know. I was fighting a barrel half the time. Well, my. When it's this early in the game, you can only invade so many times. So I'm not expecting to run into that guy again, at least. Because you know you have finite items to invade with. The cracked red eye orbs. They ain't so good, they only got one use in them. Right, I gotta pick up my blood stain so that I get my humanity and my souls back. But I absolutely want to be human when I go in for the boss. Because there are two characters you can summon who will make your time just so much easier with that. Figured I should at least mention it. But, uh, if you learn anything from this experience, it's like, um... Maybe don't be human until you're ready to go for the boss, and when you are, book it. Right? So you don't run into these guys. Here we go. It's gonna take another to turn me back human again, though. Wonder if I should just clear, uh... Clear a few dudes out first. Actually, looking forward to some fights. Let's do it. When we're human again, only human again. When the world once more starts to make sense. Do do do. Okay, let's go. You know what? All things considered, I think I will just sneak attack the Boulder Knights. It's really just the formation of them that's important to know. And I don't want to be redoing the same stuff too much. I mean, you guys get spared that of editing, but I just don't want to be here forever. Whoops. Don't backstab me, bro. Oops. 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 I make a boo-boo. Make a boo-boo and I need to get crunk. There we go. Enough of this. Jerks. Jerk. Boulder Knights can also drop a few good items. So, you know, it's good to know where they is. Haha. <laughs> I know your tail's all ready, bro. You can't do shit to me. Alright, that's that then. Sneak attack did not work out, but that's... Well, that's just how it goes sometimes. I don't think there's anything else of worth around here. That's just an alternate route you could have gone, I guess. Oh well. Uh, so instead of picking more fights, I think I'm gonna progress up for now. See what happens. So... There is... The way you have to go is... Wait, what the hell am I doing? I have a Firekeeper soul. I need to go talk to Anastasia. Sorry, I'll be right back. So easy to get distracted in this game. I actually think you had more dialogue. Don't you ever think to forge your weapons? I'm you fine. Better fi Unless you enjoy swinging about with blunt instruments. <laughs> what if I'm wielding a club? Then it's meant to be blunt. Maybe I want it that way. How did that silly sorcerer's apprentice end up? You know, the one always prattling on about Master Logan. He we'll see him later. Dead Berg, but never came back. Serves him right. If even old Big Hat can't make it out there, what chance does he have? I hope he enjoys his new life as a hollow. You're a douche. Just because you're full of, you're feeling like shit doesn't mean you make, you put other people down. But talking to this guy is impo um, can help you learn about other people you can find in this world, so that's a neat little thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, but that's all you got for me, huh? I guess he just uh, in advised me about that one because I'm like to meet him soon. Anyway, Anastasia! Oh, let me just, let me just get bring out the flavor text first, you know? Yeah, I don't have anything else cool. Soul of a long-lost firekeeper. 
each firekeeper is a corporeal manifestation of her bonfire and a draw for the humanity which is offered to her. Her soul is gnawed by infinite humanity and can boost the power of precious Estus flasks. It can be used to gain humanity and restore HP at the cost of losing the firekeeper's soul to reinforce the Estus flask. So, the firekeepers are actually closely tied to the bonfires themselves. Or at least, the fancy ones. All the rest are just kind of there. <laughs> okay, so I've got the Estus flask plus one now. And that will make each charge heal me a little bit more. So, I think I'm better equipped for fighting all the things now, huh? Now the important thing I should say about tackling this area is that it's important to take it one step at a time. First you kill the Baronique Knight, then you go back to the bonfire, then you kill the Chandler, then you go back to the bonfire, then you go fight Knight Lothric, then you go back to the bonfire. Like, don't ever expect to do it just all in one go, alright? You gotta be patient. So, up this stairway is the way to proceed. There's a Balder Knight. Hello! Come down here! Wait, I shouldn't fireball you. There's a Chandler. And I can take you. Yeah, I know your parry trick, I'm not gonna run into it. I'm not gonna run into it, do, it so do something else. You know, I said that. I thought for sure he was about to release it. Oh well. Hello, ghost. Having a good time of it. Be careful out there. Neither of us wants to see you go holo. Oh, fuck. He almost began it again. There we go. You leave yourself open when you go to heal. Sometimes it's a risk you gotta take, but sometimes you gotta resist the urge for a little bit. Which is why I like having this heal miracle in between. Okay. So, there he is. Now the thing about the channel is, is they have this dance they do which buffs up all the opponents uh, around them. So, well, all the opponents to you. You know what I mean. So, even though he's surrounded by mere draglings right now, they're all going to become really hard hitters once he starts dancing. Also, taking him on with them all, that's just, that's just suicide. I gotta pick him off one by one. So, Eager McBeaver. Strong attack does them in, in one hit. Doesn't affect their health any. You just don't want to get hit. And you certainly don't want to get cornered by all of them. Shit. That was a dangerous moment. Ooh, didn't mean to jump attack, but that worked out. <laughs> okay. And it's important to keep your guard up, because there are several times here that I thought I got them all, and then, yeah. <laughs> Not so much. But it looks like I'm good. So after I heal up, let's go get that channeler. Now he got a trident and he got soul arrows. Kyotsukite. Yep. Aha! Brought my shield up in time, mate. But you don't got a shield, does ya? The channelers are minions of a different boss we will meet much later on. And this one won't come back, thankfully. You know, I did say go back to the bonfire, but I'm a pro and I'm feeling pretty confident, so let's just keep looking around here. Large Soul the Nameless Soldier. I still would recommend it for anyone starting the game. I'm only doing this because I, I still remember so much of what you encounter. I'm pretty confident in my ability, is all. So up that ladder is the boss, but there are more things to poke. Over here is a Baldanite. 
Well, I'm just gonna torch because ain't nobody got time for that. Ow. Jerk ass. Okay. And I think there's one more. Suppose we will see. It is very dark. So it's important not to just rush blindly ahead. Take a little step at a time. This is definitely the thing I want, but let's hold on. Right, there's a guy in a pot. Every time there's a guy in a pot, there's an item. Humanity. Excellent. Okay. Uh, I'm just, there's an, I think there was another path back here. No, wait, that's the way I came in. Naturally. Okay, yeah. Alright. Then let's do it. Habisky! Yush! I am here to kick ass and chew bubblegum. And I am all out of bubblegum. Okay. This is the cell I want. Why am I not getting attacked? No, seriously, what? And he's like a door thing. Maybe it was just the one dude. I don't... I guess I misremembered. Oh well. So we get a prisoner up here. Let's let's talk to him. Let's talk to him. See what's up. Oh, still human, are you? Then Lucky. I am in love. Could you help me? As you can see, I am stuck without recourse. Absolutely. I think, uh... One of the keys I pick up along the way here does that. Mystery key also does that, apparently. Oh well. Thank you. Yes. Sincerely. I am Knight Lautrec of Karim. I truly appreciate it. Hi, Lautrec. This. And I guarantee a reward. Only later. Of course. I'm not expecting anything. You just got out. Yes, very sorry. Your reward will have to wait. I've just been freed. Allow me some time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just seeing if I could get more lore out of you. I'm free. Now I can get back to work. <laughs> You're kind of creepy. Right. Did I ever explain the reason I'm not killing Petrus? It's cause if I do it too early, the very person I want to save gets angry at me cause of course she can't see the future. And then she tries to kill me. And since you can't unaggro someone, that will eventually mean I have to kill her. Whoops! I made her dumb. Thank you, Pyromancy! You see why I recommend this for starting players? It's so handy. And if I had all the charges, these, was, these guys would be dead. Well, no worries. Shit, he healed. Get out of my goddamn way! Left myself open until the last possible minute. Let him work. F Let him unbalance himself. Yeah, boy! That's how we do! That's how we do in Lordran! And I got invaded! I can tell because the fog doors are up. Fantastic! Well, now's a good time to see where these guys pop in at. Is it on the altar? That would be appropriate. Hey, are you gonna give me the message? Message that says such and such invaded you? No? Oh, it's the same fucking guy! Ah, oh, I hate my life. Okay. Well, at least I can fight in here now. 
No, I will not answer the phone, you goddamn scammer! Ah! These guys are relentless! I'll just stay up here. With this annoying ringtone. Why did I choose this ringtone? Okay. That's probably gonna be my brother who forgot his key again or some such. Shit! Well then, come on! I should probably just let this guy kill me then. Let me, let, let me, let, it's Max. God damn it! Hey Max, what's up? Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, what? Okay. Oh, there he is. Sorry, I'm actually playing Dark Souls right now and I just got invaded. Okay, so phone charger, laptops, and wipers, all in the backpack. Okay. Hey audience, this is how a pro handles his life with Dark Souls. Don't ever sacrifice life for games. Okay. Well, it's in the video whether you want it or not. This is what happens when you just randomly call me. <laughs> Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, what is taking this guy so long? We our eyes locked. Where did he go? Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. It shouldn't take long. Yep. Okay. Bye. Ah, oh, bum. I was so close. Ah, oh, god damn it! Can't even heal with this guy around. Ugh. Fine! Yeah, the inability to pause is probably one of this game's weak points because of things like that. Ah. Uh, Sometimes it is just better to park yourself in a corner or let yourself die. If you're super lucky, you can be at a bonfire and just sit there for a bit. But uh, not always. Anywho, I've got adult things to do, so be back in just a tick. Fortunately, it's in a nice, retrievable location. And there's nothing sniping me anymore. Excellent. So, you know, I kind of do want one more rematch with that guy. Because uh, now that I've got full fireballs, full heals, 
I feel like I got a good chance. Uh, oh, also, this elevator is the key to another secret you do. Right here. And this is how you get to some of the higher places of Fire Lake. Right here. Now, I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't think I'm going to waste too much time with that. Uh, but that is something you can definitely expect in the future to be done. I mean, maybe there's like an item or two I can grab quick. Ah yes, the Undead Asylum F2 West Key. And this staircase leads all the way up to the crow's nest. That crow there. Hi! And if you curl up like an egg, it can take you back to the Undead Asylum where you started the game. Uh, but it's much harder. And there are more dangers. So, you know. Be prepared. Still a neat little thing. Ow. Okay. I'm gonna rev up. And we're gonna... Land in the wrong place where I'm going to have to get chased by skellies. Typical. <laughs> Base! Okay, reverse my Halloween. Now let's spend some of those souls. Because I have some NPCs I want to summon. And I ain't going to let... I ain't going to let some troll push me around. Attunement just in preparation. And wait. That gave me another slot. What if I could... Let's do that for now. Because more slots is better for future... The future game, obviously. But more than that... More than that, my game fucking... No, it didn't. Okay, good. Then why I want it? I guess it already accepted. It's just not... Okay, um, um, I'm gonna reel it back. I'm not gonna get mad. I'll just keep telling myself that. But now that I've got another attunement slot, let's buy force. Force requires 4,000. Which I. Wait, I can grind for that. Just wanna be sure. Yep, okay. Because force is like a quick area of effect thing around you, and I think that could give me the edge. But I think Loudtrek is here now. Yeah, hello. Ah, hello there. I have your reward. Please, accept it. A sunlight medal. I am grateful to you for freeing me. <laughs> yeah, to you too, buddy. Let's not be greedy now. <laughs> Bro, I just wanted to talk to you a little more. Why are you always assum assuming I, I want that I'm having a bad motivation here? Okay, a sunlight medal. The badge of the ultimate honor. This faintly warm medal, engraved with the symbol of the sun, is the ultimate honor. Awarded to those who summon the warrior of sunlight and complete a goal. The symbol represents Lord Gwyn's firstborn, who lost his deity status and was expunged from the annals. But the old god of war still watches closely over his warriors. So. This is one of the items that you need to level up in the Warrior of Sunlight Covenant. So that's actually going to be useful later. Uh, basic, most of the covenants have their own rank up items. And uh, you can find more of the specifics on the wiki dot. Though I will go into each as I, uh, as I find them. You again. What is it? Our futures are murky. Let's not be too friendly now. Come on, bro! Hm. Oh. It's only murky if you let be murky. Okay. I shouldn't have regained my humanity, but if I can... If I can whack enough dudes to get force, then I'll have the edge over that guy. Or that guy will invade and I'll just put him down this time, for good. Right. The thing he keeps doing is like, he gets a hit, he waits for me to heal, and then he lunges on me like a wolf. I gotta like, 
I gotta get the first hit and I gotta keep wailing on him. I can't even let him have a s space to breathe. Well, I still have half my fireballs. Balder Gauntlets and Rapier. Rapier is a good dex weapon. Uh... I don't know. I guess I'll go hit the other Balder. They're 200 apiece, right? That should give me enough. But if I get invaded, then that's that. Uh, yeah, that's enough. Running back to the bonfire. Actually, the parish is closer. I just need to get into that little archway before the fog wall hits. Base! Okay, we're good. Oh, but this won't do, because force is over that way. Okay, just just book it, then. Book it, book it, book it, book it. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da
but you have less chance of just like piranha in me to death. Oh, and some of them can fall fall on the floor from that spot I fell on before. And they can get behind you if you're not careful. Why did I do this? I knew this was going to happen. Hello. Okay, do you need to be let in? Oh, okay. Yeah, sure, just give me a sec. Yep. Bye-bye. Made it. That was lucky. That's my own fault. I thought I could continue the episode. Uh, so soon after. It turned out that call was important. So, you know. I'm glad I went and I checked it. Should have figured there would be follow-up. Okay. Be right back. Righto, the adult business has been well and truly sorted, and as a reward, I got ice cream, which fills me with determination. Therefore, let's not go back to the bonfire, because that will undo everything I just did. Instead, let nothing stand in the way of my vengeance. Hate is a bottomless cup, and I shall pour and pour. I should heal. Let's just make sure I got all of these guys. Some of them may have dropped to the floor. Won't be a big thing if I missed one or two. But, you know, they're annoying. All they need is to stab me once at the wrong time while that guy's attacking me. If he's still even around. Because he might not. He might have gone on to uh, more newbie pastures. I was pretty newbie myself, though, sadly. Oh well. I will entertain myself by hacking up dudes until that point. Well, you know, I might as well make some... Uh, more productive use of this time while I wait, so... Let's just show off the summons that I meant in question. Now, getting here while you're human might be tough, but I mean, you see this big pause I'm having. You just gotta count on one of those. Over there. Over here we got Night Loud Trek of Karim, the dude we just freed. He's ready to help you out. And up here. Just look for my glowing sign. If you miss it, you must be blind. Ha 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 ha. Soler of Astora. So when I'm ready to take on the bus, I'm taking these two guys with me. We're gonna sunbro it up. Sunbros for life, yo. I don't actually think Loud Trek is part of the Covenant, but he's here. And he often coincides with Soler, so hey. <laughs> Just watch. I'm gonna want him to come now, and now he won't. <laughs> Daxel's PvP is weird. It only works in Darkroot Garden where you're off you're constantly expecting to get invaded. Because then like if you're human there you wanna fight. And you can always expect a dude to jump you. Here, I don't know if he's even gonna jump me here, and he often jumped me when I didn't want him to. <laughs> when I'm human here, I I usually just wanna summon Solaire. For the boss fight! You know? <laughs> I am proud to have managed that so well, though. I don't want to become a hikikomori. I don't want to just withdraw and not have a social life. You know? The weapon of the ancient kingdom of Baldur. Yeah, which... Baldur was the home of Knight King Rendell. 
but the kingdom was reduced to ruins after a widespread outbreak of undead. How oh, unfortunate. And then the gauntlets. Anything we need there? Ah, same. So, the Knights of Baldur and Berenik came here in search of a cure for the undead plague, but often became part of it themselves. Que tragic. Okay, I've killed everything in the church. One of those Baldur Knights took one of my Estes. Where is this guy? I'll bet he just logged off. I'll bet he, like, just quit. Or he's invaded someone else. God damn it! It's always when I'm expecting this sort of thing to happen that it just doesn't. To spite me. Ah, This is why the red sign soapstone works so much better for this sort of thing. Then it's like, hey, there's a, a dude laid a sign. Do you want to duel? Yeah, absolutely. Sounds fun. Like, this dude looks like he's decked out in some badass gear. So why not? Weirdy things have happened though, because this guy must have beaten the Hydra to get that spell, so like, he's clearly a loon who like, started with a low level character and went, Eee, -hee -hee, I'm gonna get all the things and I'm gonna harass the noobs. Like a dildo. Really think it's pretty how there are like little embers drifting through the air. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know what, he's not coming, so I'm gonna end this episode here, but next time, next time we're gonna get up there, we're gonna summon Soler and Lautrec, and we are going to fight those gargoyles, oh shit, I spoiled it, okay, well, it's gargoyles, and we're gonna ring the first spell of awakening, and know the truth of the undead, or some such, hopefully, eventually, that's the general gist anyway, so... So, thank you all for tuning in. Please comment and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And remember, you all have the potential to get good. Peace out.